The Lighthouse, 88.3 WFEM with Matt and Charmel. Charmel, yesterday we had such a treat yesterday afternoon to have just a wonderful family in our studio, Brenton and Jen Carell. And there's little son, Sam, who's two and a half. Mm -hmm. We had a guest in the studio. These guys are missionaries in Kenya. I understand that Brenton grew up in Kenya as a missionary kid himself. Yes, he did. And Jen grew up here in Illinois. But for some reason, God put Kenya in her heart that she was so uh, impressed with it. Every school project had to do with Kenya, Africa. And eventually... She went to teach there. Now, they work with a missionary group called First Love. Those guys, Tom and Linda Clinton, Mm -hmm. they have several ministries in countries, including the Philippines, Nepal, Kenya, the Ukraine. Yes. And uh, Brenton and his wife, they have recently spent time in Kenya. That's right. Last summer, when I was on a short-term missions trip, I met them, and they're here in Rockford right now for a few days as they're getting ready to go in the fall to be full-time employees there at First Love. Yesterday, they stopped by the studios. We had a chance to talk with them, and Brenton is discussing what his new job details include and his uh, his position. Yeah, I, I'm going to be director of ministries, um, kind of be the on-the-ground full-time person for for the for the first love somebody that tom and linda can uh trust to be the point person when for teams that come over to kenya to do work i'll be we're organize their their ministry and their time that they spend in kenya and of course take them on safari for a couple days i really look forward to to hosting people that come over but also want to look in just helping to manage the facility uh of course chris okuna the director is doing a great job but he's He's got really a lot on his plate. So I want to come in and, and help him, ask him, how can I help? When you come into another country that you, you come to work alongside them. You're not coming to work over them. Right. And so, cool. so we want to work alongside, partner with them, and, and empower them to continue doing what they're doing. Um, and so I want to, you know, whether it's getting into operations, whether it's helping uh, financially to help manage some things that we're doing, uh, I want to be available for that. You know, one of the things that I'm really excited you're going to be doing is uh, organizing uh, outings for the kids at the orphanage at First Love Kenya. I'm so excited because that was that was impressed on my heart while I was there. I kind of felt a little guilty going off on a safari and all the kids were back there. And, and I thought, wow, Lord, that would be cool if they could go along. And then I found out he had already been talking to you about it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it is important. I mean, we want to get the kids out. Sure. To go hiking, to do team building activities outside of Nairobi, to learn how to camp, learn how to do these kind of things. When when you look at vocational training and critical thinking skills, anything we can do to develop that with the kids is really valuable for them and to empower them for the future success. Which leads me to one of the things that we are really passionate about is to help develop vocational training skills if we can work towards being self sufficient in Kenya as an organization, then then we're not depending fully 100% on donations from the states. Sure. First Love can run by itself in Kenya, hopefully in the future. And, and through that, we'll have business opportunities. So one of my goals is to develop a mechanic shop that we can, develop, that we can um, service our own vehicles on a monthly basis. We can train men and women how to be mechanics professionally. And that's for our older kids, too. They can learn vocational training through that. So we have a cla- we want I want to have a classroom in the mechanic shop that we can do all of the training we need to with with like two or three full mechanic bays that we can do service and then thirdly open up to the public so that That's we awesome. can make money in Kenya as a service to the public and then and then we also want to have I would love to be able to develop a little safari branch of our own that we have our own little safari company that we all the teams that come people that we host that we can take them out on our own safari to save us money from having to pay another company to run our Safari for us, um, and then opened up open up to the public too. People that we know, people want to go on a safari, and they know that everything that we make on top of our cost comes back into the home full, hundred uh, percent. You know, I, I'm looking at this whole thing here, and this is very well planned, and it sounds like it's just it's a dead ringer. It's going to work. Yeah, but it, but it's going to take time. Yeah, it's, mm-hmm. it's something that n- does not happen overnight. And also, I want to make sure that it's not that I'm not just pushing my own agenda. <laughs> I want to I want to I want to really we want to go in and and serve understand what Tom and Linda have been doing with First Love and to, 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 to be obedient to that whole thing. And we want to do this kind of stuff hopefully in the future when, if God opens that door. Because when you look at, there's a, there's a cool documentary that just came out on Netflix called Poverty, Inc. 
and it talks about the worldwide issue of poverty is, is there's a lot of issues with how organizations do work in foreign countries. Are we really empowering people to be able to do things on their own, to take it themselves? And if we're not empowering people on the ground level to be able to eventually have their own business, to have their own money-making ability, then what are we, what are we doing there? And so it's important that we work towards that goal. That is so cool. I am so excited to hear that perspective because that is exactly, yes, that's my heart. I'm just so thrilled. I'm really excited that I was able to take part in one of the short-term mission uh, trips with First Love. And I'm planning on going next year. Yeah, we're the, excited to have you come. And yes. we can actually host you, you know, fully I that know. time. Yeah. <laughs> You'll already be there waiting for us. I'm really excited. Almost our whole team, I think, is planning to return Uh, that went last year. So I'm really excited. Now, um, in order for people to find out more about First Love, we're going to make sure to put that web link on our Facebook page today. And uh, if you want to give, if you want to learn more, if you want to go, I already had uh, someone tell me just the other day that she's interested in going and wanting to find out more. So uh, if you are, you definitely want to get a hold of, of uh, First Love and get more information. And do you want to go ahead and give that information yeah, out on really the air quick, here? Yeah, uh, just uh, really our we have, a, we have a website to, to go with First Love. We, it's um, www dot three in Kenya, spelled out three in Kenya dot WordPress dot com. And that tells uh, from our part, what were we doing and, and, and kind of gives everything in Kenya that we can to update people on Kenya. Um, and for our monthly support right now, we are at 61% monthly. And so we're looking over the course of the summer to raise the rest of it to be a hundred percent by the end so that we can be on our way. And uh, it's, it's exciting. Tell us uh, what uh, is your time frame now for getting over there, and what what are your plans within that time frame? Sure, we have until September fourteenth, and then we are hoping to have all of our money raised by then because we have a plane ticket returning us to Norway, which sounds a little strange, but <laughs> that's just how our round trip ticket worked. And then we'll buy a one way ticket from there. Um, we're really hoping that our money's raised, but if it's not, then we'll have to push it back a little bit. I see. Okay. Yeah. So we will trust the Lord to yeah. to answer uh, your prayers so that you can get over there and start the work. Mm. God bless you. We're going to get some pictures, I think, on Facebook of our time here this morning and links. And of course, Brenda, if you can tell me one more time how people can learn more, give us that website address. And uh, I just feel it on my heart that uh, everybody has the opportunity to see what you do and if they feel inclined to help fund the beyond 61% this morning. Sure. Well, I, I want to say that, uh, you know, first of all, when it comes to social media and, and even radio and things, people, it's a two way street. So, you know, we can do all we can to be as creative and on the radio and you know, on, on the internet as we can, but people have to take a little bit, just a few minutes to, to look into it sure. and they have to take a few minutes to listen. Um, so just encourage you to, to take that time. Um, our, our website is www. Three in Kenya spelled out. Three in Kenya dot WordPress dot com. And uh, and then if you just have any questions, we have our contact information on there. And uh, but it, we do we try to have videos there, and we have some short information informational things, and uh, hopefully engaging for you to to look at. We'll be praying for your family's growth and safety and all of your work. And thank you for all that you're doing to make a difference globally. Well, well thank you guys for the opportunity. We're excited to see what happens with getting the radio going and, uh, and for Charmel as well. It's just really neat how our paths crossed last, last mm-hmm. summer. And you just never know. And I think one of the other things I just want to mention really quick is relationships, relationships, relationships. You know, it's important for us to take the time to get to know people. You never know what can come out of it. But also, we, our hearts yearn for building relationships with people. And that's what makes even our journey as missionaries special because we're building relationships, personal relationships in the process. And that's exciting. You'll be in our prayers for certain. Thank you so much. Great insight. Thank you very much, Brenton and Jen and Sam. I'm not sure he's kind of floating around here. To, maybe he's after your job, Matt. <clears throat> well, I think I he's know. starting at the fruit snacks right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's all right. Okay, well, thank you so much for joining us. God bless you, and we appreciate you uh, stopping in. And uh, they'll actually be visiting at my church this weekend, so if you want to find out more, you can check me out on Facebook, and we'll talk. All right, sounds good. All right, we have more music coming up next here on The Morning Show with Matt and Charmel. This is The Lighthouse, 88.3 WFEN.